In this video, we will be discussing how to start, edit, and finalize a pay period. A quick note before we begin, I will be using the terms pay period and pay cycle interchangeably throughout this video. Please be aware that these are the same thing. Before starting a pay period, confirm that you have done the following. Create all pay items in the Pay Item Setup screen. Also, be sure that you have assigned driving cost codes and calculated conversion factors for those driving cost codes in the Pay Estimate tab of the Cost Code Setup screen. Lastly, visit the Pay Estimate Setup screen to confirm that you have created all necessary pay periods. Once you're ready to start a pay cycle, select the Pay Estimate menu and click to open the Pay Estimate Summary screen. Click the Start Cycle button and then click the Start Next Pay Estimate Period button. This begins your pay cycle. Pay periods must be started in sequence so there's no option to select which pay period you want to start. Once you have started a pay period, you'll want to confirm the accuracy of the listed production quantities for all pay items. Review the preliminary quantities generated by Heavy Job, which are based on production quantities entered on time cards for all dates within this pay period. Edit My Final Quantities to adjust for any inaccuracies in what has been entered in the field. Next, edit Owner Final Quantities to reflect the actual quantities for which you will be billing the owner. Next, review the amounts that you will be billing for stored materials. Confirm that the desired calculation method is being used. The override amount method allows you to enter a lump sum amount to be billed for stored materials. The computed from adding pay items method allows you to use the stored materials tab to enter amounts for individual pay items. These can be hand entered or you can click the header of the stored material amount column which will open a pop-up window that displays the on hand or remaining quantity for all materials received against a specific pay item but not yet installed. When using the computed amount from adding pay items method for calculating your stored material billing amount, be sure to visit the periods tab of the pay estimate setup screen in order to confirm that your stored material percentage is accurate. You will also want to review your retainage amounts. As with stored materials, confirm that the desired calculation method is being used. You can enter a lump sum retainage amount into the override amount field. You can calculate your total retainage by selecting the sum of pay item retainage amounts radio button and entering either a retainage percent or an override amount for each pay item in the retainage tab. The final option for calculating retainage is to use the formula entered on the retainage tab of the pay estimate setup screen. Before finalizing your pay period, confirm that the contract amount is correct and that it matches the original contract amount entered on the periods tab of the pay estimate setup screen. Heavy Job will not allow you to finalize a pay period if these two values do not match. Once you are ready, you can finalize the pay period by clicking the finalize button and then confirming that you want to finalize the period. Keep in mind that once a pay period has been finalized it cannot be deleted, only revised. Remember that you can always hit the F1 key to open the Heavy Job help menu or contact our support department for additional information.